so today I have a tutorial for you. This is the final Harry Potter house. And if you've been watching it for a little bit, you probably know which one this is. Slytherin! Yay! Um, I was so excited about this one because I just love Slytherin colors, so super exciting. Um, okay, and this is more wearable on the more wearable side. Um, there are many things that you can do to this to make it m even more wearable. I kind of just wanted to, to take it up a little bit. I really like it. It's very standout-ish. And I think this is really perfect for, like, night. Um, at, like, the club or something. Um, because it's just so eye-catching. And since it's very pigmented, um, it will show up really well in pictures. And, you know, your eyes will be glowing and beautiful and lighting up and stuff. So, yeah. Um, I hope you like this look. And, um, I hope this is a good end to the Harry Potter houses. Um, I have to say, my... I have two favorite looks. I love the Hufflepuff look and the Slytherin look. It's my favorite looks from them, just saying. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this look. And, no. Um, yeah, so if you want to know how to do this look, just keep on watching. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just apply a white eyeliner as a base. Alright, so... I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics 120 Palette Edition number 3. And the first colors that I'm going to take are going to be these two. It's all over the lid. To darken it up, I'm going to take these two greens. Apply this more in the outer section and kind of blend it over. Then I'm going to take a light gray shade like that and just lightly apply this like over the middle. It's not going to really show up and you honestly don't really want it to. You just want it to kind of be undersaved. Do a little bit more of that. So I'm going to dust in this shade in the color wheel palette, that one, and go into the crease with it. And then I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow in Envy. It's a very rich green. I really like this shade. It's very pigmented for its price. And just dust this in. Try to blend it just a little bit. So I'm going to um, mix together this gunmetal shade and then the green outer part. And blend it. Alright, so now I'm going to apply this silver, and I'm going to take a very small smudge brush and my MAC Surf Baby Pigment Stack, this platinum shade. I'm using it um, dry, opposed to what I normally, um, how I normally use it, which is wet, because um, it will just be a lot easier to, which just be a lot easier to blend. Just press it on the center, and then kind of build it towards the middle. And once you have a good amount, you can see, just kind of drag it down into the inner corner. Before I go any farther, though, with that, for like a little bit of like a base, what's this? I'm going to use this white right here, right in the inner corner. I almost forgot to do that. And then continue on with the silver. I'm going to kind of lightly pat it on to kind of set it just a little bit. Yeah. So as usual, I'm going to use a little bit of white eyeliner into the waterline. And I'm basically going to take like the same colors on the lower lash line. I'm going to use these, this one, this one, where is it? This one, it's showing a little more olive, but it's a kind of darker olivey green. And this one, just kind of creating an interesting gradient. I'm using like two of the shades at a time, 
And I really recommend using a paper towel for this or a tissue. I'm going to take a C brush that's on my eye, and just blend it. If you want to take a Q-tip, make sure it's all blended out. Oh, I almost forgot. For a highlight, since the lid and everything around it's a little bit crazy, the highlight shade we used here, I'm just going to take that and use that there just to kind of blend out the edges a little bit. Um, Eyeliner-wise, I'm just going to take a shimmery black. This is Oil Slick from Urban Decay. And then, as always, lightly line your upper lash line. This olivey green right here, I almost forgot. And take it a little bit into the outer section. I don't know if I did it on this eye, I might have forgotten. Okay, so just curl your lashes. I'm going to use L'Oreal's Telescopic. Can't even see it. Telescopic. So for cheeks and stuff, um, I just applied a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of a cheek highlight. Um, the reason is, even though this is more of like a wearable, smoky look, I just feel like if I put on a blush, it would just take away from it. So I'm just going to use a nice neutral lipstick. This is CoverGirl's Lip Perfection in... Darling, just a medium kind of bluish pink. And just kind of dabbing this on, not even really uh, taking it to its full extent. So you can see, it kind of just complements it just very minimally and stuff. I really like in this look, I like how it's stuff. I would definitely wear this out. I like it a lot. I hope you guys did too. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!